Today we would like to tell you about an incident of international importance. On July 16, 1979, the pirate whaling ship Sierra was rammed off the coast of Portugal by Sea Shepherd. The only sure way of uh, dealing with the pirate whalers was to put them out of commission permanently. So what we decided to do was to take the Sea Shepherd out and to hunt them down. And then three of us hit them at 12 knots full into the midship section of the ship, which ripped a six foot by eight foot hole in the ship. By hitting the Sierra, we struck a blow for the whales by damaging the entire pirate whaling industry, which is now under international investigation and is, uh, is running scared. Well, in 1987, uh, the International Whaling Commission called for an international global moratorium on commercial whaling. And Iceland, Norway, and Japan did not follow those, so they became outlaw whaling operations. Iceland's whalers discovered more damage inflicted by protesters today. A factory that makes whale oil was found badly damaged in a sledgehammer attack. The factory had been empty over the weekend, as were two whaling ships that were sunk in Reykjavik Harbor. The protesters say the Icelanders are hunting whales illegally under the pretext of scientific research. Well, Sea Shepherd has been involved with uh, protecting whales right from the very beginning. Uh, through the early part of the 80s, we were responsible for shutting down every single pirate whaling operation in, in the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, then we moved on to opposing Norwegian uh, whaling in the, in the 90s. And then in the, the, the new millennium, we went after the, uh, the Japanese uh, whaling operations in, in the Southern Ocean. The Japanese whaling fleet has operated quite similarly every year. They head down to Antarctica with the intention of killing these endangered, threatened, and protected whales. Sea Shepherd, because we are not as well resourced as the Japanese government, we have to be a lot more creative in the tactics that we employ. The Antarctic campaign seen a lot of dramatic moments. I mean, rammings, attempts to sink ships. Uh, I mean, we hit them a couple of times, but they hit us many more times. Uh, you know, water cannon battles between the ships, the stink bomb attacks on the ships, uh, them throwing uh, stun grenades and shooting at us. It's been sort of pretty dramatic, they have very dramatic campaigns, but uh, at the same time, we have to concentrate on the, the effectiveness of those campaigns, which were, were very effective.
you have any intention of conducting your illegal whaling operation or your illegal refueling, you will have to sink me right here next to San Morel. I am not going to move for you. When the global moratorium on commercial whaling was put into effect in 1986, that was the chance for the whales around the world the populations to recover. And if we allow countries like Japan to continue killing whales inside a whale sanctuary, then there is no chance that these populations will recover. Through Sea Shepherd's innovative and courageous direct action tactics, our campaigns down in the Antarctic have saved over 5,000 whales.